Facts First presents… When a pastor performs a lakeside baptism, a large creature rose from the deep. On June 5, 2018, Pastor Doko and his congregation of 80 met on the shore of Lake Ababi in the Ethiopian town of Arba Minch. He intended to use the waters to baptize each member of the congregation. And that's not out of the ordinary for them. Most Protestant baptisms did take place in lakes and rivers around Africa. The procedure involves the pastor submerging his congregants in the water to imitate Jesus' own baptism in the River Jordan. But when a pastor started a lakeside baptism, a large creature suddenly rose from the deep. First, though, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. The first baptism went off without any issues. Since there were 80 people being baptized, it was going to be a long day. So he tried to do each baptism as quickly as possible. And when he moved on to the second person, he saw something stirring beneath the waves. It was a giant crocodile. Even worse, it had the pastor in its sights. The creature came out of the water and began snapping at the pastor's arms, hands, and back. While this was happening, the congregation looked on in horror. The congregants couldn't believe what was happening. The pastor was doing the Lord's work and he was grabbed where he stood by this large creature, as if it was the devil from the depths. The congregants teamed up with some local fishermen in the area to save the clergyman. Unfortunately, it was not as easy as they had hoped. After seizing its prey, these reptiles they clamped down before performing this bone-breaking death roll. The fishermen used their nets to try and keep the crocodile from dragging the pastor deep into the lake. By the time the creature finally let go, though, it was too late. The injuries that the pastor sustained were far too severe, and he died. While they were able to pull his body from the water, they couldn't save his life. According to the locals, the baptism that the pastor was performing was risky. Ababi is the second largest lake in Ethiopia and it is known for its substantial crocodile population. Because fish are so scarce in the waters, the crocodiles don't have enough food and that means that they are aggressive to any humans who dare step into the lake. Also, spotting the crocodiles is difficult because of the lake's reddish tint. It's a great way to perfectly camouflage themselves so that they can surprise their prey. Sadly, this gives the victims no time to escape unscathed. The reptile that attacked the crocodile was a Nile crocodile. They can grow to be 19 feet long and they can weigh close to a ton. It's estimated that this particular species of crocodile is responsible for over 300 attacks on humans in Africa every year. Overall, these creatures are responsible for more attacks on humans than any other species of crocodile. This type of crocodile is the third most prevalent human killer in all of Africa. It's third only behind lions and hippos for killing humans. According to the representatives from the United Nations, the Nile crocodile is the most opportunistic creature and they ambush their prey. Since humans are not nearly as powerful in the water and they're slower, they're very easy pickings for crocs. It's believed that many people lose their lives to these creatures every year, and many of the crocodile's victims are women who head down to the shore of the lake to wash clothes. Officials believe that they don't have a true death toll because many of those deaths in the waters go unreported. This wasn't the only crocodile attack that made the headlines, either. In 2018, a British man, Jamie Foxx, not the Hollywood star, and his fiancée, a Zimbabwean woman named Zaneli Nidlovu, were canoeing on the Zambezi River when a crocodile struck. In the struggle, Zaneli lost her right arm. While describing the incident, Jamie says that he tried to save her. Fortunately, he was able to pull her from the water and he kept her from bleeding out. Sadly, the doctors could not save her arm. She says that she was just happy to walk away with her life. The couple, they did not want to put off their wedding because of the attack, so they were married five days later in the wedding chapel. These stories are a warning. Even though the waters look calm, you never know what's lurking underneath. Subscribe for more.